Hey, how's it going guys? Zara here. So I wanted to share my honest thoughts on the Stellar Blade demo. Now I have played it twice through and I wanted to see uh, you know, the main differences between the difficulties on story mode and of course the normal mode. There are some challenges you have to definitely consider and I would definitely want to say that I absolutely love this game. I love this game. I cannot wait until I get my hands on this game uh, at the end of April. It's genuinely going to be awesome. You know, uh, you know what? I want to get into the best parts about it already. I absolutely love the way that the simplicity of it. Basically. You know the way so many other games in AAA standards of games as well, they become way too convoluted to the point that you just literally you have to invest of your time just to understand what is this mechanic supposed to be done or what is this ability and how do you utilize it? How many button presses do you need to uh, click on? Here in Stellar Blade, it's not that convoluted. And at first, you know, I was like considering, wait, is this awkward? Is this challenging? Is this weird with the muscle memory? Am I going to get used to this? You know, I was always questioning myself. I wanted to uh, question my first uh, my thoughts first so I actually would criticize on this game and I wanted to give it a proper review and my thoughts right and so I did after playing the game I loved it for real now I actually have taken down a lot of notes and bullet points on my phone here on the notes and uh, while I was playing through the demo and I was just you know writing down and noting down everything about the good and the bad as well but nevertheless as you can see in the title of this video I genuinely had a fantastic time with this demo so let's mention the elephant in the room. Obviously, Stellar Blade is the main appeal around it is due to, well, Eve herself and overly, as people like to say, myself included, overly sexualized kind of a characteristics and, you know, the way you can wear your character's outfits and suits. Yes, yes, all of this is real deal. She looks absolutely gorgeous, dead drop gorgeous, and just genuinely a lot of people are going to have fantasies about her. And whatever, it's fine, it's cool, I don't really mind them. In fact, I think she genuinely also looks absolutely gorgeous. And I think it's awesome. But the thing is, what's interesting, the tone, the story, the world, everything around this game doesn't really necessarily mean that uh, everybody's going to be looking at her and just saying, oh my goodness, I want her, right? It just doesn't give me that vibes. It gets really, really serious in tone. But again, this is demo, right? I still need to experience the full game for me to tell you the, my full extent of thoughts regarding and my review of how they actually uh, developed in terms of having a beautiful female character within the world of the post-apocalypse. And in this case, everything I have experienced, man, it just... It doesn't get in your face regarding of her sexuality and her, her beauty and her, uh, her cupcakes, right? It's just, it's just, you know, she's a character. That's it. That's really it. Now, if you want to fantasize about her, obviously you have an option with that. So it's actually kind of a weird thing as well that the devs didn't actually consider putting a photo mode within this game because I think it really will do wonders for the photo mode. And my goodness, photo mode is going to explode on, on Twitter or X. <laughs> But still, they will consider if the photo mode is very demanded. Uh, they will update it later on. Perhaps, perhaps. Beautiful world. It really is. Like, even though it's desolated everywhere, everywhere is destroyed. Uh, I like the way you explore it in this world. The kind of linear approach, but there are some hidden and mysteries that you can actually uh, find. Maybe uh, some special ca caches that you can actually locate. And just basically take your time and explore this world. I really, really enjoyed it. And there's always some things that are hidden away. Or maybe you require to know a little bit of a puzzle and for you to open that particular thing. As an example, you'll need to go to a different area or a different location. You need to find this code, remember this code, come back to the cache, and then you will be able to unlock it. And basically you can get some extra rewards. Now, let's get into the most important part about this game is regarding of its combat. And I think that it is brilliant. At first, when I started playing, right, and I was challenging these enemies, I thought like, okay, wait, 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 what's going on with this dodging? Is it like a little bit uh, insensitive? Like, is there, can I make it perhaps more sensitive? Now, I did realize that the camera movement was a little slow, but that was easy fix, basically going to settings and, and increase the sensitivity in the camera. And there was no pr no problems there at all afterwards. And then I started considering, wait, is the dodging mechanic a little bit iffy? Is the parrying me mechanic a little bit like insensitive as well? Does it, uh, can I cancel out the animations when I initiated them? And to point yes you can definitely do it like this game is a very fast-paced game and if you're encountering with the bosses you really need to be on top of your toes or at the edge of your seat be patient and of course make precise uh, executions 
Afterwards, when I started considering and looking through while also playing through the game, I was like, oh man, why is this option not available? For example, like assassination moves. Then I noticed that you actually unlock so many different varieties of skills that you will be able to do that. And so on that part, I said, okay, this is good. I like this because at least it will give us an option later down the line or just having no option at all because I would rather have an option. And even if it's locked behind skill, that's a little bit actually kind of sucks, but still I'm glad the way it's there that you can do assassinations from high locations or perhaps uh, right behind the enemy while they're not paying attention to you. I love the way also the combos that you can utilize, the attack patterns, parrying, dodging, it genuinely feels good in your hands, in your controller, and you actually want to keep on playing, keep playing through, pay attention, it's just, it's awesome, it feels great. Man, this game is so, so, so like It's through the roof. I really enjoy that. And if you guys know me, I'm a very big fan of Souls-like experiences. And now that Stellar Blade is so much like so Souls-like, oh, this is genuinely awesome. Now, I did notice that, well, I died a few times since I've been playing on a more harder difficulty as well. But I don't think, maybe it's just me, maybe I didn't really pay attention, but I don't think you really lose anything. So that was a weird kind of decision. So I guess there's no re repercussions if you were, you know, losing something like skills or experience or whatnot. Perhaps there is, but I didn't really notice it. This game is very flashy, as, you, as long as you're utilizing these skills and abilities that Eve has, basically blocking, then you can uh, match the buttons, well not match, but like you press the face buttons and you can utilize different varieties of skills and to your advantage of course. It's genuinely is a looker, I love it, there's so many cool animations and so many upfront attacks that you can actually utilize on the enemies, it genuinely lo looks awesome. Of course, suits and the outfits, as mentioned a little bit already in the earlier section of this commentary, basically, Eve looks beautiful, gorgeous. I love the way you can actually customize it. And yeah, you can kind of go crazy with that a little bit as well. Uh, well, I had a little bit of a gripe. I can't really say it was a complete negative, but it's a weird kind of mechanic that they decided to go with. So you know the way when enemies drop items or loot, right? You have to approach them, you press square and you pick up that loot. Or sometimes, occasionally in different varieties of games, your character automatically picks these loot and items up. And in this case, you literally have to press R2. I was like, wait, what's going on there? So, okay, maybe R2 is just simply interact button. All right, so yeah, indeed, that is correct. When you want to open up a cache, and so you do, then you have to pick up the loot around you, but you don't. And I was like questioning it, wait, what's going on here? And thankfully the instructions have popped up and they told me you have to hold R2 button to pick up automatically. I was like, mm, is there a setting for that that I can just like automatically pick up everything? I didn't really pay attention to that part in the settings and I hope there will be, or at least maybe there is already. So I'm not sure if that's a very good, you know, system to have. But nevertheless, of course, you'll still get used to it. Now, I want to say regarding the difficulty modes, like story mode and of course the normal mode, I think that a story mode is a little bit easy, and but normal mode, it is challenging. Challenging. But not to the point it's just like ridiculous. In this case, I think that the story mode is actually well welcome for the newcomers, and so I really don't think you're going to have any difficulties. Now, pay attention while you're combating these enemies, right? You have to pay attention, it's very important. If you're just trying to smash like a single button and just hope for the best, it unfortunately will not work for you because, because you're not going to go a long way. I genuinely had a lot of fun with this game. I was seriously surprised how great it feels, how great it looks, and uh, I cannot wait until the release of this game. And then there's even some talks that there's a possibility that could be a sequel coming out for Stellar Blade. Please, that would be awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of chat for today. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know as well. Have you tried demo out yet? Please do. It's free. Why not? Like, it's a fantastic time. And it's only going to take you around half an hour to maximum an hour to experience the full demo. It's not much time investment needed. And that's awesome. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all and have a wonderful day.